The terms list allows you to create various terms you provide to customers or are given from vendors. To create terms, go to the list drop-down menu and select Terms List under the Customer and Vendor Profile List area. Once open, you can click on the Terms button, select New, and then you have a choice whether you want to create your terms under the Standard Scenario or the Date-Driven Scenario. The Standard Choice allows you to put in the net days something is due. So for example, Net 30 indicates that an invoice is due 30 days after the invoice date. Also, you can put in a discount percentage if applicable, so if an invoice was paid prior to the net due date, then a discount would be given. For example, the terms 110 net 30 means that if an invoice is paid within 10 days, then a 1% discount would be given, otherwise the invoice would be due in 30 days. If the date-driven choice was made, then you put on what day of the month the invoice is due. A discount can also be applied under the same principle as under the standard terms. So for example, if an invoice was due the 10th of the month and a 1% discount was given, if it was paid by the 1st of the month, then you would show this as follows. Remember to give your terms list item an appropriate name that fits what the terms represent so when you select it, it makes sense to you and to your customers or vendors. So again, if you create a standard term of 110 NAT 30, then you would write it this way in the name at the top. Terms can be assigned to a customer and vendors as a default when you set up either entity and are added under the Payment Settings tab. If terms are not set up as customers or vendor defaults, then terms can be selected at the individual transaction form level.